Oh yeah, that rain's chilly. We're gonna get wet in a little bit, but that's what we're. Hey y'all, welcome to the channel. My name is Sean. This is UCM Pigs Moto Vlogs. Now. You may ask yourself, Sean, what are you doing motor vlogging in the rain? And believe it or not, I did this on purpose. Um, before we get started, let me remind you to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always on my channel, if you don't feel like typing words, just leave me an emoji. Let me know you're here. I greatly appreciate it. So I'm going to go ahead and apologize. There's going to be raindrops all over the lens, but this is a rain video, and I did this on purpose, and I'll get to that. But when you were a kid, did you not ever just go out and ride your bicycle in the rain? I'm not riding my motorcycle in the rain. It rained on me on the way home from work and I was actually sitting at home waiting on the next cell to come along. Because I wanted to talk about this topic and that is getting out and practicing riding in the rain. Uh, I've watched a lot of videos here recently and a lot of people are out doing summer trips and they're getting caught in the rain and you can see their experiences in the rain. But you know, rain is something that we, as motorcyclists, need to get used to. I had to crack my visor open a little bit because I was fogging up. Because the last thing you want to happen is to get caught in the rain and not know how your bike is going to respond, how your equipment's going to respond. Um, it's just not a good thing to happen. So I wanted to talk about that a little bit. Now, I ride most every day to work, and now I'm not going to lie, if it's like this when, when I wake up, and it's a torrential downpour, I'm gonna drive my truck. But if there's a possibility of rain, I'm gonna ride, and I get caught in the rain often. But I feel like I'm pretty confident riding in the rain. I'm not big headed, I'm confident, because if you notice, I am riding really slow right now. And I am soaked to the bone. Uh, a little chilly too, the temperature just dropped. But I wanna talk about some pointers when you are out practicing and some pointers when you do get on a road trip and you get caught in the rain. So like I mentioned, you want to be familiar with how your bike is going to handle. Um, you want to be mindful when it first starts raining, all that oil comes to the surface. So the first few minutes of a rainstorm, pretty slippery, especially painted surfaces. All those turn arrows and your dividing lines, you always want to be mindful of those. Um, I tend to avoid the first five or ten minutes of a rainstorm. Um, just for that simple purpose. But getting back to, well, while we're on, some more topics, some more things that I think that are important when riding in the rain. Again, you know, we all go out and we buy this rain gear and it sits in our saddlebags and we don't put it on until we're on a road trip somewhere and it starts dumping on us. And I'm gonna be honest, I'm not wearing my rain gear right now. And the main reason is, is because I'll be home in a few minutes and I'll just change clothes. But a lot of times, if I'm on a road trip and it's extremely hot, I'll do exactly what I'm doing right now. It's just not worth breaking the rain gear out. But you do want to wear it from time to time, just so you're used to that feel. Um, it creates like a sail effect, and it impacts your hand, how your bike handles, how you respond, and just be ready to respond. You know, we have a saying in the military, train like you fight. So you want to get out and train every once in a while, and see how it's going to feel when it's raining. Um, another thing I want to talk about is what to do if you're on a highway, say you're on a road trip, and it starts raining, you lose visibility, you need to stop and adjust some of your gear, whether that's put on your rain gear, change out your visor, which me, I'm wearing my tenant visor, not smart. I didn't change that out, but I got rain X on it. Um, you need to do something. So let's say we need to switch our visor out. Your first option, your first train of thought should be next exit. Get off the highway. Those You're having a tough time seeing, vehicles are having a tough time seeing. Get off the highway, get into a gas station, a parking lot, somebody's driveway, something away from the highway to do what you need to do. 
A lot of people will shoot for an overpass. Not a bad choice, but you need to be choosy. Because if you look at some overpasses, the shoulder narrows under the overpass. So you don't have a lot of room to get off the highway because the name of the game is to get as far away from that white line as possible. So sometimes that may mean you have to go beyond the overpass and just pull off on the shoulder to get you a nice wide shoulder to get off the highway. All your flashers on so you're lit up so oncoming traffic can see you. Now the next very important thing is get away from the bike. The best thing to do is put the bike on the furthest to the right of the, sho of the, the shoulder and then if you can get off into the grass or something like that away from the bike, do that. Make your adjustments, get back on the bike, safely get back on a road. The last thing you want to do is turn your back to oncoming traffic. Face it. You want to be looking, facing the oncoming traffic so you can see if someone is getting close to you, getting close to your bike, and you can do what you need to do to get out of the way. You do not want to get caught with your pants down. You do not want to get hit, and from, hit from behind by someone who can't see you. So those are just a few things that you, know, you need to keep in mind when trying to get off your bike to do something you know to adjust some gear add some gear but it shouldn't de deter you from getting out and riding in the rain if you're going to ride motorcycles especially if you're going to go on road trips this should be something you do once a month um, go out and chase a storm get on some roads that are comfortable to you put on some comfortable clothes put on your rain gear um, and go out and practice riding your bike in the rain uh, a lot of people do videos on low speed maneuvers. I think this is equally as important as low speed maneuvers, like that right there. I just kind of put my foot down and I slipped a little bit. It's just I wasn't thinking. So again, just little things like that to keep in mind so the next time I come to a stop, I know I need to be a little more careful putting my foot down. So that's it for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I wish I could say I did. I'm a little wet and I still have to stop at the store, but I'm probably going to wait and do that till later on. I'm going to go home and put some dry clothes on. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. I hope you have a fantastic weekend coming up. And until we talk again, you guys be careful. You guys be safe. Always keep your shiny side up. And we'll talk to you next time.